Did you think we were finished talking about UFOs and aliens in the media? Think again. You are now within minutes of horror and your only chances of survival is hitting that like button. With that being said, let's continue on with the video. So alien and UFO talk has really died down in the media with the last things being known are of the family in Las Vegas who saw a UFO crash in their backyard and saw these 8 to 10 foot aliens come out of this UFO. And then we had this UFO whistleblower, David Grush, speak out about the government being aware that UFOs and aliens exist and that there are indeed hostile events. After this, there has been small pockets of videos being released by people of them seeing UFOs in the skies. Nothing really big, nothing uh, groundbreaking when it comes to information of aliens and UFOs. But then yesterday, and I don't know how I missed this, this was posted by the New York Post that a congressman issues a grim warning after viewing classified UFO footage that UFOs could turn Earth to charcoal. This isn't a person in the public. This isn't a whistleblower. This is a actual Tennessee lawmaker, a representative of the government. Tim Burchett, a representative of Tennessee. He is on a podcast saying that he saw leaked footage, leaked videos of what UFOs and aliens are capable of. And if they do decide to attack, humanity does not stand a chance. And this is very important to what he's saying. They want to keep the UFO and alien talk going in the media. And they want us to keep it in our mind that these aliens are hostile, that they are dangerous. This is telling them, you know, don't go testify before this committee. If we have to, we'll use the power of subpoena. We'll bring them in there and make them tell the truth because this thing has been covered up. It is ridiculous. We, the Pentagon needs to come forth with the truth finally. And let's let's put this let's let's move on to another issue. But until then, I think we need to find out what's going on. And and the charcoal briquette comment, everybody always quotes me on that. And um, <laughs> the reality is, these folks, they, if, they, if they are beings from light years away or wherever, the dark side of the moon, I don't know. Um, they their technology is so incredible that, that they could have done us if they can travel light years to visit our little measly planet. Um, then their technology is so superior to anything we've ever seen. And well, even the whistleblower, David Grush, said that there have been hostile events where people have lost their lives. So why do they want us to keep it in our mind that these are hostile and dangerous? And how does it connect to the woman who had a freakout on her flight? Well, this all links to Project Bluebeam and the staged alien attack. For those that don't know what Project Bluebeam is, it's a staged alien UFO attack on Earth that is so bad that all of humanity has to unite under a one world government in order to fight back this threat from space. We will start to see holographic religious figures in the skies turning everyone to one religion. A fake holographic messiah will come down, a antichrist, and only through the antichrist by worshipping it. It will wave its hand and make it all go away. We will have one world religion, one world government, strict laws and rules that we will never have seen before, punishable by death, order out of chaos. Don't take my word for it. Let's listen to what a president has to say. President Ronald Reagan. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. So this has been something in the works for a long time now. Now, I do want to talk about the woman's flight, the woman who had a freak out on the American Airlines flight. I have been reading a few comments in the comment section of the videos I made on this topic. And while every theory I have read fits, which is scary, there is nothing that does not seem outside the realm of possibility. Drugs, alcohol, mental illness, ghosts, demons, gin, artificial intelligence. But one theory that really stood out to me is the crisis actor theory. And after reading these comments, I was thinking that what we watched, the woman who was freaking out on her flight, were we supposed to see that? Was that video footage leaked by accident? Was this just crisis actors preparing for something that is about to happen and that something 
being the staged alien attack Project Bluebeam. And while it sounds crazy, the narrative really fits. If these UFOs and aliens are dominating our skies, the narrative of there being alien spies inside of our planes and aircraft makes sense. And we're seeing these people freak out about these aliens disguised as humans. If these passengers and this woman were not crisis actors, if these were not actors, why was everyone so calm? Why was no one getting up and recording her seat location? Why was nobody recording the person next to her that she was accusing being fake? But even before that, the narrative that came out when this video came out is this woman was a racist Karen accusing the man next to her, a black male, of stealing her AirPods. Why does this footage not exist? Anytime there is a quote unquote Karen video of a Karen accusing a minority of doing something, we always see the accuser and the accused because the media loves to push the division. They love to divide us by gender and race. So the media would have loved to have seen this footage and post this footage everywhere of a white woman accusing a black male of stealing her AirPods. And yet we don't see this anywhere. And um, they said she had them in her hand. And then within seconds, we don't know if she pocketed them or where she put them. She misplaced them somehow. And she started uh, yelling at the guy next to her, um, who, of course, is African-American and um, uh, saying that he stole her AirPods. And when that narrative didn't work, there were people saying that they saw her at a bar drinking, that she was drunk. And I have a couple problems with that. I have been on a few flights myself. I have walked past bars and I cannot remember a single person I saw at the bar that I would have seen on the flight. And I have never seen a scared drunk. I have never seen it. I have been drunk many times. I hang out with people who are drunk, who have gotten drunk. And I have never seen a scared drunk. Alcohol is known as liquid courage for a reason. And then we have a man in a green hoodie with tattoos everywhere, pretending to be the man in the green hoodie that was on her flight. Even though the man in the green hoodie in that picture has no tattoos anywhere, we're trying to push a hoax narrative that this woman is crazy, that she heard all this Illuminati talk and it drove her insane and that she's a crazy woman. So we have multiple different narratives that were being pushed out. When one doesn't work, they push out another. And what makes the crisis actor theory stick even more is that they had an actor on that flight that spoke out, Carrot Top. One of the few that spoke out saying that this woman was crazy. So they had an actor on that flight. And as she's walking down the aisle, she walks past a man who doesn't even turn his head or acknowledge at the scene that is taking place. And as she goes to the front of coach, she turns around to say this person is not real. But as she does so, many people have noticed that she does the sign of the Baphomet perfectly in front of a camera. And then right behind her, you see a man with his legs crossed with no concerns in the world. He doesn't even attempt to get up and look back as to what is happening. And you're on a plane. You're trapped on a plane with a possible situation and, you, and you're sitting there with your legs crossed with no concern. This does not look right. And I honestly believe if it's not AI, then these are indeed crisis actors who are preparing for Project Bluebeam. And I have more questions to ask. If this was mental illness, if this was drugs, why did her freak out stop all of a sudden after she left coach? You mean to tell me nobody in first class heard this commotion behind them. Nobody had their cameras out and ready in first class as this woman was walking to first class. Did she continue having a freak out in the front of the plane and nobody recorded this? If this was mental illness, did she have a freak out inside the airport and if she had a freak out inside the airport was there no cameras capturing this we do know there are cameras inside of an airport 
So again, we have to ask the question, why did her freak out stop as soon as she left coach? And if she did continue freaking out, why did nobody record this in first class? Why did nobody record her mental breakdown in the airport? Did the crisis actor scene end as soon as she walked out of coach? Because again, there is no other video footage of what took place after she left coach. Ask yourself this, why? And there are those that have said when the plane let people out that she was never detained, she was never arrested. But they never also saw her leaving the airport, which is odd because there are those that believe she was wearing a mask. Nobody knows who this woman is. And even more bizarre is the fact that no family or friends have spoken out in her defense saying, yeah, she did have a mental breakdown. Yeah, she is known to take drugs. You do have to excuse her. She did have a moment. Nobody came out speaking to her defense. Nobody is speaking out and she is not speaking out, which is even more odd because we know who the man is who had a freak out on his flight. 27 year old Tom Cowling, a British boxer. His coach came out in his defense saying he's a good guy, a clean living guy, a Christian. Notice the keyword, a Christian. So we know everything about this man, but we know nothing about this woman in the age of social media. In the age where your digital footprint is everywhere, we know nothing about this woman. Like I said, nobody has spoke out, no family members came to her defense to make her look better. No, nothing. But I want to know what you believe. Do you believe this woman just had a mental breakdown and everything that we're seeing is just one big quinker dinker? Or do you happen to believe what we are seeing are crisis actors preparing for the fake staged alien invasion to get us prepared for the 2030 agenda? I want to know your thoughts. Comment below. In any case, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.